Praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, January 30th, 2014, 2 10 p.m. That is in specific standard time. Um, I just felt led to make this video and I'll explain why in a minute. First, I want to say uh, I was very honored um, to perform a wedding for my nephew Joshua um, August 4th. 2012 if, if I'm correct 2013 was their one year anniversary um, his wife Nat we call her Nat Natalie uh, is uh, um, her due date is today for a little baby girl and we are on pins and needles waiting for the text to come in and say it, it's happening <laughs> me and my wife are so excited I just can't tell you how excited we are because these things can happen at any time you know the due date is today though so there's the date uh, we don't know if it'll be today um, but I know it's going to be very shortly now let me get into this message there first of all understand look I'm not new to YouTube I'm not new to hearing from God um, I'm not new from discerning what, it, what is of, of the devil and what is of God. I tell you the truth in all sincerity. I am not here to impress you. Uh, I'm, uh, my gifts are from God. He will always get all the glory for everything in my life. This ministry is self-funded. I'm, um, I'm not here for fame, popularity, or money. If I was here for that, I would have kept my business. And that's 100% that's true. Now, in the year 2012, a lot of people would send me, um, you know, private messages or comments to Project Bluebeam. And to, I'm just going to be honest, and so please don't be offended. Uh, in ignorance of, on my part, I, I thought it was just a, a loony concept and that they were, how can I say, that they were just, uh, you know, reading too much into things. That was a couple years ago. I, I never really thought it would. I never even gave it a single uh, look. Project Blue Beam, and, and I must have got a hundred people wanting me to look into it, but I just was never led to look into it until just about two days ago, when that uh, projection or whatever it was, those multicolored orbs showed up in my backyard. Someone else had mentioned it, so I looked into it. Now here's how God works. He, he will he will confirm his word you know if, it, if it's from God he will confirm it now we know in Revelation 13 that a satanic leader will rise to power and that's my dog Ruby and take control of the world and force everybody to bow to him and take this mark and if you take that mark you are damned to hell and outside of the presence of God forever uh, the only other option is to be beheaded by refusing this mark. Now, what sounded crazy doesn't sound so crazy anymore. It, it does it when we see that FEMA does own guillotines and, um, and the state of the, not just the United States, but the entire world, what we see occurring everywhere in the weather, in, in, in everything that is listed in Matthew 24 and Luke 21, meteors, I mean, earthquakes volcanoes I'm not speaking of but this message is going to be about how I am 100% convinced and I'll put a link to this article and I haven't watched this video yet I'm going to play a three minute video it says evaluating live 3d holographic imaging in, uh, in interventional cardiology now this came to me in my private uh, email uh, from a family member who um, does not even follow my YouTube or Facebook. They just randomly sent this uh, saying, you know, I can't believe the, the technology they have. And it was God's way of confirming. So as I looked at this, and again, I have not played the video yet, but I'm going to. Um, I fully believe that the, in order for the Antichrist to... Um, fool people because it says he will perform miracles uh, this technology that I was warned about two years ago and kind of ignored the warning will be used it says 
you know, because the whole world would have to be involved in this, not just the United States. A one world government with a one world leader. I believe the United Nations plays a big role because I continually see those two leaves, their symbol, their logo, constantly in dreams and visions. And, and so now I'm going to play this. And I believe that th this technology could be used sh to show like a fake Christ, an antichrist. And because God says he will allow a strong delusion, but he didn't say how, did he? The, the word doesn't say that. So we have to be very discerning and have what the Bible says, eyes to see and ears to hear. I believe this technology right here, again, that says it used to be considered science fiction is now reality. Uh, I believe that this is the technology that, that will be used. So I want you to strongly consider how close you are personally to being asked to take that mark. It will happen in your lifetime. Are you ready for it? I am. I will die before I uh, bow to anybody but Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And if you can't honestly say that, please private message me because I'd like to pray for you. This I'm being as serious as serious can be. A leader is going to rise up. He's going to use this technology I'm about to show you. And, uh, and there will be a fail of the dollar uh, and it'll affect the economy worldwide and he will rise with the solution and people will believe that he's a messiah but he's actually satan incarnate okay you ready is probably the most advanced 3D interactive visualization system. Our holographic system allows physicians to work with the patient's true 3D anatomy, appearing as precise volumetric holograms floating in midair. There is no eyewear, no 2D screen. We are presenting the real thing. We've overcome some of the greatest challenges in the field of digital holography. Unlike typical 3D stereoscopic solutions, which project a mere illusion of an image, our technology accurately reconstructs actual points of light in mid-air. We provide a hyper-realistic user experience presenting high quality, full color, and real-time true holography. We've invented a concept that we call image intimacy, where we allow the users the full freedom to engage with a 3D image, literally. In our system, the users can reach into the image, rotate it, move it, zoom it, or manipulate it in any way they see fit. As an interventional cardiologist, I depend on medical imaging to guide me through my procedures. The first in-man trials with the RealView holographic system, conducted in my cath lab, allowed me to actually work with live holograms in a true clinical 3D setting and to explore the unique benefits of a genuine 3D environment. For the first time in my career, I had the patient's virtual heart literally beating in the palm of my hand. I could freely crop the hologram to define a desired plane, giving me comprehensive understanding of the spatial anatomy. I was able to view it from any angle, rotate it, zoom and move it about as I wished. You can mark a point or draw a path in the hologram and tag specific anatomical landmarks in midair. These capabilities can be extremely useful, for example for mitral and electrophysiology interventions, as well as for many other medical applications. There is no doubt that medical holography will play an important role in the medical imaging industry over the next few years. We are currently in the process of introducing this fascinating technology into the field of interventional cardiology. We are targeting our products to be used in the future for surgical pre-planning, medical robotics and 3D fetal imaging, as well as for additional medical and non-medical applications. After a 
observing physicians as they worked with our holograms, I truly believe we can have a tremendous impact on the way professionals view and interact with 3D information. Okay, that was the first time I viewed that, and again, it was sent to me by a um, family member, and I'm using this as what I consider educational uh, um, use, amen? So, uh, under the, the Fair Use Act, I want to teach others that an antichrist is going to rise and that he's going to use that technology. And I'm just giving you something to look at as I close out. Add into the fact that the RFID chip is already being used in the hospitals that they're standing in in this thing. And a mandatory health care system made law. Yes, I said law. It's the law in the United States. Now, if you cannot see that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming quickly. Um, I pray that he would open your eyes right now. I am asking everybody to please give your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth before you are out of time. Before you are out of time. This is the calling upon my life to reach as many people as I can. I assure you that everything written in the Holy Bible will come to pass and that Jesus has called me to warn the world that that time is coming upon us. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. Please repent of your sins. Please. Your life will never be the same and you will receive salvation and protection for eternity. Why would you not want to? Please let us pray for you. This is Minister Paul, a Righteous Crime Ministry.